Dreams YouTube. This is my Kaylee 7. I've got two shouts and a story for you. Once again, first are the, are the shouts. So the shout out number one is to uh, Jan Arndt or John Arndt. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. A local guy from Germany who uh, comments often on my videos. So I, I hope I got that right. And the other one is from all the way down under, and that would be Bandit Nev on Smokey the Suzuki Bandit. All right, so here's my weird story for today. This is a true story. All right, I was living in Hawaii, and we had uh, in my program. I taught in an English program called the Nice Program. It was an ESL program for international students, and so once every 12-week uh, term, we would take the students out on Language Experience Day. And there are different places you could go. So they, some people went to the uh, the Falls of Clyde, which is a, a ship that's by the Aloha Tower. Others would go on a whale watch or go to the Sea Life Park on the other side of the island. And teachers would be assigned to different groups to, you know, accompany them. So, I was assigned to the Falls of Clyde group to go see that ship at uh, the Aloha Tower Pavilion area. And so I wasn't supposed to meet my students until after 8 a.m. in the parking lot. And I had already arrived there because I had to drop off my wife and she was working at Hospice Hawaii over by the Dole Cannery and so I had dropped her off already I show up at the mall there at the Aloha Tower Mall and I'm at the food court having a cup of coffee waiting for things and it's very quiet there's nobody in the food court except uh, way down from me is this Vietnamese guy looking and an uh, older guy just sitting there quietly and I looked at him he looked at me no acknowledgement just okay fine that's how they do it and as I'm sitting there, I'm overlooking the harbor, which is right down below. By the way, there was a Japanese uh, fishing vessel uh, one time I was at there, a different, look, different time. There was a student fishing vessel. I can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, anyway. Uh, I was remarking how the students were being searched as they were coming back from their shore leave on this Japanese fishing boat and how pitiful that was. Turns out that that boat got rammed by accident by a U.S. sub that, that surfaced all of a sudden and uh, a lot of people died that were on that ship. It was horrible. Anyway, so I'm looking down at this now empty harbor, you know, docking area and there's nobody about. It's just me and this Vietnamese guy sitting down the other end in this empty food court in the Aloha Tower Marketplace Mall and all of a sudden this tugboat comes up and noses right up to the to the dock the jetty kind of thing area big concrete thing noses right up to it and it's just idling there and then another tugboat comes and that noses up to it and so now they're side by side I'm looking down at this okay weird all of a sudden I hear the crackle of a loudspeaker and a scratchy old recording of some kind of Hawaiian music. Galooka hookie mookie dookie. And all of a sudden, out from the pilot houses of both tugboats came these individuals dressed in cow suits. You know, like, like mascot type cow suits, like furries. They're dressed in cow suits. They've got on moo-moos, Hawaiian moo-moos. And they've got, you know, flower lays on them. And they're, they're holding ukuleles. A couple of them are holding ukuleles, and a couple of them are the dancer types. So there's four come out of each pilot house on the tugboat all of a sudden, facing the empty recesses of the, the downstairs part of the food court that wasn't open. <laughs> and with this music playing, all of a sudden, they start doing some weird cow hula thing. The two in the back next to the pilot house are playing their ukuleles pretending to play and then the two more up the front by the by the the um not the, the stem of the boat i guess you call it 
the front of the boat they're they're side by side doing their hula doing the whole you know the arms and the thing and the and all of a sudden the boats start to rotate they start to cavitate their 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 motors or whatever and now the the boats are spinning and because they're spinning next to each other so closely i thought they were going to hit they didn't uh, they're causing all these waves and so now these poor people i'm assuming ladies in these cow outfits with cow heads on and everything they start stumbling all over the deck falling down trying to continue this goofy hula thing in time with the music that was poorly broadcast over the loudspeaker in one of the boats and uh finally the, this whole weird spectacle of falling furry cow people dancing on on the decks of two tugboats dropping the ukuleles and everything finally it stopped and the two tugboats went off in separate directions and I'm looking around and I'm looking at the Vietnamese guy like did I just see this and he looks at me and he just kind of shrugs his shoulders like eh. and then down in the recesses of the empty pavilion down below it's pitch black down there because it's early morning I hear one clap <laughs> just one single clap of applause from somebody down below and I'm looking around for a camera like this has got to be one of these candid camera kind of deals somebody's messing with me and off they went I didn't see them again I found out a long time later that apparently <laughs> they were practicing for the Merry Monarch Festival I think is what it was and so that's what they were you know just rehearsing there and I got to witness it but it was the the strangest thing I had ever seen in my entire life just this completely random non sequitur moment of what the hell am I seeing <laughs> as weird it's, it's one of those things that's so funny it's not even funny like this, this is just too 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 funny to be real I mean you're just doubting yourself the whole time that you're actually seeing it I guess if you had been on acid it would have been real fun <sighs> anyway so that's my that's my story and I'll do uh, a couple of bonus shout outs how about that huh let's see if I can think of anybody in the next couple of seconds here uh, bobber guy how you doing dog bone how you doing and uh, I'll do another one to Bronco ride how you doing Bronco ride and I guess that's all we got because I'm reaching the place where I'm gonna sign off for today so thank you for watching folks don't forget to click like and subscribe and make sweet love to that bell icon <laughs> talk to you later